edition of sexy heads the scoop please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when i go live aquarius is a friendly reminder we all have male and female energies within us although you see genders on the cards keep in mind their energies aquarius as i'm progressing through the reading if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher feel free to swap the energies energies are fluid Aquarius, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a prenatal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accept it via cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Aquarius, I pray you all are well. This is intended to be a general reading for the end of December 2021. Um, after I do your reading, what I'm going to do is give you a sneak peek into your career and finances for January 2022 before I get you the advice for the reading. So let me get you to school. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Aquarius the end of December 2021? What energies are surrounding Aquarius for the end of December 2021, Spirit? Please and thank you. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Aquarius December 2021? What energies are surrounding Aquarius the end of December? Spirit, what energies are surrounding Aquarius for the end of December 2021? What energies, thank you. Aquarius, you're in a very spiritual place right now. You're going to get some answers that you need. You're going to be guided to these answers. Um, these answers could be about a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You, you're just going to be like divinely led to the answers that you seek. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading is beauty, beauty. Aquarius, I think, um, I don't know if you have some self-esteem issues right now, but somebody sees the beauty in you. No matter what your physical appearance is, somebody sees the beauty in you. I, I think you're struggling to find the beauty within yourself right now. And I'm going to need you to get in the mirror and remind you, remind yourself, talk to yourself about all the things that make you beautiful, all the things that make you inspiring to others. Because I feel like you're a pillar of support for someone right now, but you're the one that needs to see the beauty within you. There's a pillar of support here for you as well. At the bottom of the deck, you have healing, you have happiness, and you have travel. Aquarius, some of you are um, facing physical travel, but I want you to know there's something traveling towards you. And what this is, this is like my Six of Swords energy. I feel like you're leaving uh, some choppy waters behind. This is going to be very healing. This is my Star card energy. That's you, Aquarius. This is going to be very healing and bring you to happiness. There's a transformation occurring here, right here. For some of you, you're dealing with a Scorpio. But there's a beautiful transformation looking at this butterfly that's going to bring you happiness. You're traveling towards healing and happiness. So although it may be dark right now, look at the brightness in these cars. You're about to really feel great. Aquarius, I feel like right now you're being reminded of how beautiful you are. I feel like that you haven't been feeling your best self lately. But you're about to be reminded of how much you're loved, appreciated. And how beautiful you are. Don't turn your back on yourself. Just don't. Aquarius, you have clarity. You have clarity. I feel like um, that looked like a Christmas ball to me for some reason. Hanging off a tree. 
But I feel like around Christmas time, you're going to get some clarity. This clarity is going to be very healing. It's going to bring a resolve to something. Spirit, tell me about clarity for Aquarius. Ooh, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have peace. You have stop. And you have isolation. And Aquarius, I feel like you're trying to slow the world down right now. You could feel alone in the, in, the, in the situation. You could feel like your peace has been interrupted. Okay? I feel like you feel alone in the situation. But Spirit is calling on you to have faith, trust in the universe. Yeah, that happy times are approaching you. Aquarius, you want to get clarity. This clarity is about a loved one. It's going to piss you off. This clarity you get, you will uh, be upset. You're going to get some clarity about something you love that's going to upset you. But just know that you're traveling to happiness, okay? Remember you're traveling to healing. In order to get to that beautiful moment and see the beauty within yourself, Whatever occurred, you got to get through the muck in order to get to the fresh water, okay? So you're going to get clarity about someone you love or something you love, and this clarity is going to upset you. Spirit, can you tell me about this clarity and this love and anger for Aquarius? Tell me about clarity, love, and anger for Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, you have the main male. You have change and you have gift. So Aquarius, there's going to be a gift presented to you. Okay, this gift is going to make you feel great. There's some changes here. I don't think you see these changes coming. But there's a new opportunity for change, possibly a change of location, change of houses. A change of um, job. But there's the new beginning here for you. And it's going to change everything. I, don't, I know you don't see it coming. You might even be fearing this change. But it is a gift. Yeah, for some of you it's about a new house. This clarity that you're going to receive about a loved one that's going to upset you, you feel like you, you lost something with poverty. And you want clarity on why did I lose this? This loss angers you. You loved what this was. You know that. But whatever this loss is, it could have been a child because that looked like a boy. It angered you. This loss angered you. It left you disheveled. And I'm looking at that rat. I'm looking at that rat in the bottom. See the rat? Near the window. You want to find out somebody was a rat. Yeah, somebody was just fucked up. They was a rat. But the clarity coming because that window opened. But intuitively, because I'm looking at that black cat, you feel like you already know the answer. I want this card to focus. You got to approach this situation with care and caution.
But there's a rat about to be exposed that caused you a loss that angered you. You lost something or someone you love and it angered you. And this rat about to be exposed. Spirit, tell me about this clarity that Aquarius has regarding something or someone they love. This clarity angered Aquarius. This loss angered Aquarius and a rat is about to be exposed. But it's, you, your intuition already kind of know what happened. At the bottom of the deck, you have changed in the night. You have changed quickly. I feel like something changed and it happened during night. It happened quickly. You have set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan, the right direction. I feel like you manifested for some confusion to be cleared up. Yeah, and you have investigate. Look closely. Ask questions. Think before acting i feel like you're investigating a situation something that changed overnight you confused about what happened you love whatever this is um with 13 being a governor number this could have been somebody that passed away or something that ended and you want to transform this so I feel like although you're confused, you're going to start where you know where to start about something that changed in the night and caused this confusion and you're thinking of, of how to get these answers. This clarity regards something you love that you lost that angered you. Time is of the essence with keeping up. Immense effort advanced. I feel like you you ramped up your uh you ramped up your actions. This could be involving stability or family or home life. I feel like this is you being advanced, stepping up your efforts. I feel like time is of the essence. And you want these answers about this home, this stability, this family life, and this marriage. You might feel like you know more than somebody else. But let's look at keeping up. Because I feel like nothing is getting away from you. Like you know what's going on. Tell me about keeping up for Aquarius spirit. Why is keeping up here for Aquarius? Please and thank you. Yeah, you, you, you real intuitive. Oh, it's going to come to light. At the bottom of the deck, you have the time and the clock. I'm looking at this time here. That's why you have the clock. Listen, so I want to bring to your attention. You could have got this uh, message about this loss around 9 15 p.m. or 9 15 a.m. I'm going to get to that. At the bottom of the deck, you have the clock, you have the writer, and you have the compass. So you're going to get some good news, and you're going to be like, about time. You're going to get some good news that's going to clear up any confusion about what it is you love. Like, this news is going to point you in the right direction. This news will come by way of a visitor. Your emotions are so deep. Yeah. Like, it's time because the emotions are like, there's a lot of love and deep emotions here about something that left. And you making a decision to work on this and keep up 
and intensify your efforts to bring the change that needs to be made. Because you know you love whatever this is, but whatever this loss was, this poverty, it angered you. This could have been a loss of finances, a loss of a person. But you keeping up. Like, nothing getting past you. Spirit Aquarius that's ramped up their efforts because ramped up their efforts regarding something that they lost. Something changed and it's very emotional for Aquarius. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. You have the Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. And you're going to work. You're going to put this work in like you focus. You want to put this work in because you feel like a judgment call needs to be made. You recognize where you need to give in order to bring this into balance. Somebody is going to announce something to you about some money to bring justice. Or they want to announce something to you about somebody receiving some money. Um, this could be happening in the justice system. But this is what you're working on. To bring justice and balance to a situation. And you recognize that it needs to be done. You are ramping up your efforts because this is emotional to you. It caused a lot of changes. And whatever this loss was, it pissed you off. And it's love driving you right now. It's love that's pushing you. With this King of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, you're very um, emotional. Those waters are very choppy, but you're keeping your feelings in check with this King of Cups. And you just keep on going with a smile on your face. You know the truth, though. This could be involving some money. And with this Five of Swords energy, you it's like somebody tried to emotionally manipulate you. That's how I feel. I feel like somebody tried to emotionally manipulate you. And there needs to be a confession from this Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. You kept your cool even though your emotions were in an uproar. And you know that there needs to be a confession made. You coming for it, too. Because I think that's you and that rowboat. I don't care how rough the waters get, how rough the tide get. I don't care how the money go up and down. You determined to win and get the answers you seek. This could be involving something spiritual with the Hierophant. I know there needs to be forgiveness for some manipulation. There needs to be a confession in order for things to be structured and organized. But somebody going to learn a lesson about manipulating you because you're more advanced than that. And although you're, you were emotional, you like, look, you're not going to emotionally manipulate me. You're not going to let it happen. And you shouldn't. There's something changing here. Yeah. There's something changing here. You, But you keeping up. You are here to the game. I want to see what this Five of Swords is about because I'm trying to figure out. I feel like whoever the Tyro fan is, they determined to win at all costs. But I want to see if this Five of Swords is you winning at all costs or if you feeling defeated. But I feel like there's some manipulative energy here. And I want to see what this Five of Swords is about. Somebody could be sabotaging a situation emotionally. Tell me about the Five of Swords.
At the bottom of the deck, you have the, have the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. You have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Three of Pentacles. And this is a meeting of the minds, a coming together, a negotiation, a building, a planning, using truth and clarity. The work hasn't really been put in yet. Whoever this person is, they're very stern, rigid. Like, this somebody that feel like they know everything. But when it's like, they feel like they know everything, but when it comes to building and planning, they be on a soapbox, but they kind of don't really put the work in. This five of swords, this manipulation has to do with this page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There could have been some um, flirty energy here. Somebody could have been flirting. Or this is an argument about a child because pages are children. But with this two of swords energy, it's like, this five of swords energy, this manipulation, somebody's in denial. Somebody's in denial when it comes to this ten of pentacles. Somebody don't want to hear it. They like, I don't want to hear that. I don't, like, it might have to do with money, family, marriage, a legacy. Somebody like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know it. But you know, you got clarity. But this Aries, I'm sorry, this Taurus or this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, they're in denial about this truth. But you know, I want to see why they're in denial. I want to look at this two of swords. Spirit, what is this two of swords about for Aquarius? What is this two of swords about for Aquarius? Somebody like, I just want to wait. I'm not giving to this no more. I just want to wait and see what change is being made. I I don't want to I don't want to talk about this. I I can't do this right now. Tell me about this two of swords. At the bottom of the deck, you have justice. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, or this can involve the legal system. You have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. And I keep seeing these scales. Like, there's scales in the Justice hand, there's scales in the Two of Pentacles hands, and there's scales in the Six of Pentacles hands. So I feel like this is involving the justice system somehow, or some legal system, or make it something more fair and balanced. I feel like you need to make a decision here. You could be real busy trying to balance your schedule out. You want justice to be served quickly. It's a lot going on, and it requires you to stay flexible. But you want justice to be served quickly. Somebody's in denial about what it is they see with this page of Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Somebody doesn't want to see this without all the information, something like that, because they're heartbroken. And with this Two of Cups, I feel like there was some immature, premature communication about a soulmate, about someone you love. 
I feel like you're looking into this and with the strength card, you're determined to get answers. I feel like somebody denying the truth that you know. I feel like somebody denying the truth that you know, and you you got clarity. You know you love this person, but ever, whatever loss this was, it angered you. But you keeping up with your emotions. You keeping it cool. But somebody else is sabotaging their process, not your process. Because they're in denial about what it is you've seen or what it is you know. Like they had, they delayed with getting this message. Aquarius, you had passion, rejection, and distant horizons. Like somebody can't get past this. You can't move past this. You reject moving forward right now. Because until you find out what happened in the past, and that passion is looking backwards. You not move going nowhere. You not moving nowhere. You rejecting leaving this Aries Leo Sagittarius behind. Or you're rejecting leaving this passion behind. Until you find out what it is you need to know. And I know this because down here you have Curiouser and Curiouser and the like. You want some information some light shed on the situation because you want to know why this ended. You want to know why this loss happened. And the more you find out, the more you like, I ain't going nowhere until you discover the weird shit that's going on in this situation. And light will be shed on the situation. You're going to get this clarity. Because what was hidden in the night... As then being revealed in the light. What was hidden in the night is now being revealed in the light. And you ain't going nowhere until you find out what happened. Whatever happened, happened in the heat of passion. But you keeping up with everything. No matter how much going on, you keeping up. And you like, I ain't going nowhere until I find out what really went on. Why did this end? Why did this death occur? Why is this transformation happening? I'm not going nowhere because I'm mad that I lost this. And although I'm emotional, I'm following shit. You ain't going to catch me off guard. But somebody refusing to see that you see. Tell me about Curious, curious Sir and Curious Sir with this sun card spirit for Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. You have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Two of Wands. It, uh, now listen, so you making a plan. I want you to know it's three kings on this board. The, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. You could be working together with a group of people. But I see somebody is just you looking at shit, making plans to make a logical decision because you won't take the lead on this. You just waiting for the word. You just waiting for the word. Somebody doubted how strong you was. But they're about to find out why you Aquarius and why you so beautiful. So you curious. And you want to know what happened to this family, this home, this stability, or at this celebration. You like, I ain't going nowhere because I'm passionate about finding out the truth about this eight of cups. Why did this have to leave? 
And the more you think about it, the more confused you get. And you stuck. I'm not going nowhere until I figure out what the fuck went on. That's what you're saying. And this made you sad. So let's look at this seven of cups. Because you like, you trying to figure something out. You want to know if somebody lying to you. If they got options. If they, if they got choices. But I feel like you... You like, I ain't going nowhere. You went back to the scene of the crime, going from the Eight of Cups to Seven of Cups. And with the Eight of Swords, you like, I'm staying here. This person can't see. They all bent. And it's raining on them. But you don't give a shit because you like, I ain't going nowhere. I love this. What happened? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. In this family, this four wines. What was they waiting on? You went from the four wines, the three of wines, to the two of wines. At the bottom of the deck, we had this eight of swords. This eight of swords. This you staying in place. The chariot ain't nobody moving. Ain't nobody going nowhere with this chariot energy. Some of you are dealing with a cancer and the tower. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Shit about to pop off. Because something is being revealed. And you like, we ain't going nowhere till all this shit come out. It's like you not letting nobody go nowhere until all this shit come out. It's about to go down. And with this four of wands energy, I feel like you with this uh, strength touch, touching this four. I'm sorry. Let me stop. Wrong thing. With this ten of pentacles touching this four of wands, this is involving some money, some family, a celebration, a get together. But this is definitely involving some family and some money. And the seven of cups, you confused like what happened? What, what happened in this house? What happened with this family? What happened with the celebration? What happened with the stability? And you expect to get the answers you want. You won't wait for it. You stand in your ground. You feel like you have the higher ground to win this. Yes, you are. You setting boundaries and barriers. I feel like you ain't letting nobody leave the house. Until you figure out what happened. Like, what the fuck happened here? No, you ain't going nowhere. And with this two of wands energy, you suspicious of somebody. You suspicious. I feel like you suspicious of somebody and your plan is like, oh no, 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 no. I expect to know where this is going. And this was painful. But you are persevering through this. You stand in your ground. You said what you meant and meant what you said. I'm hearing nobody move. Nobody gets hit. But you expecting something. I want to see what it is you're expecting. I see his answers, but tell me about this three of wands. Maybe the ace of swords will come out. Tell me about this three of wands. What is Aquarius expecting with this three of wands? At the bottom of the deck, you had a queen of swords. This is you, Gemini, and Libra's energy, the nine of cups, and the four of pentacles. And I feel like you holding back what it is you tr truly trying to get to. I feel like you're holding back with this four of pentacles. You holding back the fact that you trying to weed through the information until you're satisfied. You like, you don't need to know what I know. You don't need to know how I know. 
You don't need to know the reasons I'm asking what the fuck I'm asking. But I know one thing, I'm passionate about it, especially in all that red. And I'm going to make the, I'm going to get the information I want. And anybody that got to go after that, then I'm going to wield this sword. What you expecting is this hermit. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. What you expecting is to gather all this information and walk off with your book and your lantern so that you can do some inner reflection and some introspection. You want to do some soul searching about this heartbreak and disappointment, about this loss, about this sacrifice, so that you can make a decision. There needs to be a healing here. And I'm hearing, I ain't going nowhere until I find out. And you keeping some information to yourself. Aquarius. You have spiritual guidance when it comes to this idea and this great fortune. You listening to your spirit guides. They're going to give you an idea that's going to make you very prosperous. Very pro prosperous. This loss has allowed you to gain something. You're going to get an idea when you receive this message. Service to the animal world. Messages for a rabbit. Rabbits are like quick, uh, operate off of it, impulse. But this message is going to change everything. It's toxic too. Whatever we talking about is toxic. But I feel like this your instincts telling you something ain't right. Something causing this confusion. But that's about to change because your spirit guides is delivering you an idea in order for you to have great fortune. But you don't know that this won't happen yet. You don't know it. This idea won't be like an aha moment. And you will clearly see all the toxicity in the way somebody like telling you something. And the more they tell you, I think they trying to confuse you, but you're not getting confused. It's changing your perspective and you will to use your intuition to get clarity and your spirit guides is going to give you an idea about how to, Weed out or weed through this confusion. Tell me about this messages for a rabbit in this crossroads. Mm -hmm. They trying to confuse you, but it's really going to give you the answers you want. You had the ace of pentacles. You had the strength and the four of cups. See, this is you just waiting. This you being in your zen, being stable, rooted, and grounded at the root of that tree. You don't care what people delivering to you. You don't care what people delivering to you. But somebody is purposely holding back, giving you some uh, something valuable. And they trying to flood you with emotions, but you don't give a fuck because you rejecting it all. Because you feel like spirit won't give you the answers. Like the answers is coming to you regardless, no matter how much people try to hold the back. All you got to do is sit there and listen to your spirit, guys, because they coming anyway, see? It's coming anyway, see? See the cup, see the pentacle? Because this was emotional and it meant a lot to you. And even though somebody tried to keep it back from you, some of you dealing with a Leo, it's going to come to you anyway. All you got to do is sit there. Stay in your zen at the root of that tree. You're going to get to the root of the matter and your spirit guide. 
That's who won deliver it. That's who won deliver it. Aquarius. With this Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, this is uh, you. This is you being confident in the messages you're receiving. The information you're finding out because that window is open is going to make you happy looking at that sunflower. I feel like you dotting your I's and crossing your T's, looking over documents. And with this Empress energy, some of you are dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Um, this could be the parent of your child. But with the Queen of Wands and the Empress being here, this is these messages are about how abundant you are, how beautiful you are, how confident you are. Somebody is about to highlight you with this hermit energy. It might be a Virgo. Remember this, you took that information and you went off to do some inner reflection. Well, I feel like you coming back with that information and you want to let everybody know what happened about this mother or this abundance or this money. I feel like you bringing this information back and you want to weed out the confusion. Yeah, I feel like you went off. And you didn't tell people where you was going off to because you needed to process this pain. But now you back because everybody confused, but you got the answers. And you want to see that's you. See that star in that lantern? That's you coming back shedding light, giving light to a parent of a child or giving light to... Like you hot, you pointing something out about why something was sacrificed. Like you got a new perspective. And this is going to make this person feel real confident and inspired because somebody tried to confuse the situation here. But what happened at night is being discovered in the daylight. I want to see what this soul searching um, got you. What is this information you've come across? Spirit, what did the hermit discover? Can you tell the Aquarius what the hermit discovered? What did the hermit discover? Because you was like, I ain't going nowhere to I find out what the hell going on. What did the hermit discover? Because this is you. You won't get your answers. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and you have Justice. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra, Taurus. And again, I feel like the Justice system could be involved. Like I saw scales every damn where. But you stable. You wise. So when I got the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the King of Swords, it's a power play. King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and I saw the King of Wands. This is a power play. This could be uh, four gentlemen don't have to be putting their heads together to put this work in. I feel like everybody know they role too, but it's a power play. I feel like that justice is going to be served. I feel like um with that when I saw that tower in justice, I feel like karma is about to be served. And you got the finances to see this through. I feel like you're wise, you're stable, you're rooted and grounded, and you're working from a grounded place. And I feel like you're doing this independently on your own, but you're going to get justice. 
quickly with the eight of wands quickly quickly Aquarius I wanted to know what it is this hermit saw the hermit saw this knight of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy this could be a player type energy something that's unstable somebody rushed to judgment And you like, no, 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 with the Eight of Cups. Go back. Go back. It's something we're missing. You go in the wrong way. The answer is here with judgment. With judgment. Something is being recalled from the dead so that something could be awakened and the answer can be found out. You like, you going the wrong way. Turn around, come back here. You moving too fucking fast. And that's the light you shedding on the situation. You like, no, you got to go back, go back. Because you knew somebody tried to confuse the situation and you bringing the clarity. Because your spirit guys is telling you which way to go. And it's going to yield a lot of money. Whatever this is. Somebody was looking the wrong way. And whichever way they was looking, they was kept getting disappointed. The decisions, somebody was making some unstable decisions. And you like, no, you going the wrong way. You looking in the wrong direction. Let me help you out here. Let me show you how to get this money. Let me show you how to, you helping somebody see their beauty. You're helping someone see their beauty. You're, you're nurturing them. You're being very compassionate, very giving. You're not putting somebody back together. But you like, we ain't going nowhere until I figure out what's going on here. I want to know what this judgment is because this is a judgment call. This is the answer. And you highlighting this shit. Tell me about judgment. And again, this could be a court judgment. I just keep thinking all them scales. Tell me about judgment. But this is somebody coming back together. Tell me about judgment. King of Pentacles. King of Cups, Ten of Swords, yeah, I got some female energies in here that's boss, so boss the fuck up, that it's, it's like the females are, female energies are operating in their yang energy, they're going after something. At the bottom of the deck, we had a seven of wands. Like, you fought for this. You stay, you stand in your ground. You're going to defend this truth. The page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Because you figured it out. You learned. But some of y'all threw a fortune teller and a queen of swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Aquarius, you like, listen, I know the truth. And I'm going to stand by this truth because I figured out what happened. And you don't like the truth that you discovered. Mm -mm. But you're glad you got to the bottom of it. And for some of you, you're going to hold on to this information. You're going to slow walk this shit. Yep. And then, it's like you want to expect. You want to expect to meet some opposition. You are. You expect to meet this opposition. But you're going to work at it. It's like you're going to make somebody so mad and frustrated that they're going to have to pause. Like, they're going to have to, like, walk on eggshells about what they tell you. And then it's like somebody tried to confuse you, but you're going to end up confusing them. Yep. And then they're going to realize they underestimated you. And they're going to, like, try to stall you out. they trying to stall you out from this happiness. But... It's going to happen anyway. Yeah, they're going to new beginning. That great fortune. 
I don't know why they tried it. But this judgment call, it's a, it's a power move with this king of pentacles. You making a power move. You want to show somebody how to boss up on somebody? Because you know how to keep your feelings in check. You like, look, we got the money. We already know how we feel about this. Yeah, they betrayed us. They stabbed us in our back. They lied to us. But don't worry. Don't worry. Because I'm devoted. I'm faithful to you. Let me show you how they backstabbed you. Let me show you how they lied to you. That's what you're highlighting. You're pointing out to somebody, and this could have been an actual physical death. This could have been a murder. But you like, no, you going the wrong way. You thinking about this all wrong. Come back. Let me show you. Let me show you. I want to show you how they backstabbed you, betrayed you. They ain't going to have no good luck. Like, I got your back. I'm going to defend you. I got your back. Let me let me show you what was really going on. Let me show you what was really going on. I'm Aquarius. I'm intelligent. Yeah. Like you ain't weak. And somebody really tried it. They tried to confuse you. With this toxic, toxic shit. But you see the truth. Because your spirit guys, you in tune. You got clarity. Let me get you some financial advice. Aquarius, I feel like you reminded somebody of how beautiful they are. And at the same time, you discovering more beautiful things about yourself. Spirit, may I have some career and finance? Uh, can I have a sneak peek into Aquarius's? January 2022, career and finance. Can I have a sneak peek? At the bottom of the deck, you have easy does it, gift, and promoter. So Aquarius, in January 2022, it's all about how you market yourself. Don't rush don't rush take your time you may see slow growth but i want you to know that this slow growth is going to turn into this big gift okay so it's all about how you promote your brand market yourself okay because it is something you're trying to get off the ground here with growing up and it is going to bring in a lot of new money for you just make sure you document your goals keep your books make sure you dot your i's and cross your t's and then yes it is time for you to take action on this plan Aquarius, it's like you wanted to go at this alone, but the truth is you might have to change your mind about doing this by yourself, okay? And the reason you want to reconsider doing this by yourself is because you might experience some setback, but I need you to know that it's not really a setback. It's not a failure. It's just a way... For spirit, because you're an independent, very strong person that does not like to show a weakness, right? So spirit is like, listen, Aquarius, you can't do this by yourself. I need you to change your perspective. So basically, you want to experience a setback just to make you reconsider this decision and ask for some help. Because it's somebody that really motivates you, and they're going to help you reach this goal. This is a goal that will not be independently obtained by you okay so it's more like so spirit can get you used to working on a team or working with a group of people because you do not like showing weakness and you do have an i can do it attitude we know you great at that but spirit wants to uh change your perspective and let you know that you can possibly possibly exceed your expectations by working with a partner or with the group so let me get you some advice for your reading 
So January 2022 is all about you growing financially with a partner or with a group. Okay, because you have the skill that you possess, and this skill need to be shared with the world, okay? It's something about coaching, speaking. How do I know? Because I'm about to show you. There's a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. This is career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. Okay, but you need help to be motivated yourself. Just want you to know that. Spirit, what advice you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? I just saw five, 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 five on my clock, on my timer. So this is definitely a big time for you to make a decision for some changes in your life. But not only are you showing somebody the beauty in them, you being shown the beauty within yourself. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? Aquarius, see, I want to point something out to you. Something changed in the night regarding this male. Either they went on to a place of peace or you were coming to a place of peace with this person. Okay. That just hit me in my face. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice you have? Aquarius. It's like you being called to heal. Rewrite the future so you can remove some blockages in your energy. And you feel like you can't do that right now. I don't know why some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. You feel like it's unlikely that you're going to do this. What well, Spirit is saying is the perfect time. Don't be dimming your light to make others feel more comfortable. You can't do that. You, I just told you you have something to share with the world. But I need you not to dim your light. You need to release control and let spirit do what it do. Some of you done with a Taurus. But see, something is trying to change the way you do things, move, dimming your life to fit in. Spirit is like, no, it's the perfect time. See how this per like this angel there open. Don't do anything to fit in with a crowd or to make somebody feel comfortable. Let you be you. Release control is like be you. Let the universe do what it's doing. Because the universe is here doing their job. You got clarity. The universe is now grounded something in the now. Okay. So I'm going to need you to break this chain and release control. And take a leap of faith. Because you resisted it. I'm looking right at it. Aquarius, spirit of sin, then recovery. Like there's a healing here, a spiritual healing. But it's like you got to take the lead. You got to take the lead. You got to go first. And focus on a positive. Because somebody mirroring you. They follow your lead. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. But I feel like you taking a risk, taking a lead to help somebody heal and focus on a positive. 
Like, I feel like you're able to go deep. Because air signs are, are usually not that deep. But you're different, Aquarius. Because remember, you're the water bearer. Waters run deep. So in order for you to bear these waters, sometimes you got to dive deep to go get it, right? So you like the water sign of the air signs, all right? So I feel like you helping somebody go deeper to understand why spirit does the things they do. And you're going to help somebody recognize some spiritual signs, okay? Aquarius, I feel like in this reading, you're like the council of light. That's how I feel. I feel like you're the council of light. I feel like you helping somebody heal. And in helping them heal, you're healing yourself. I feel like you're recognizing beauty that you might have forgotten that you had. And I'm not talking something superficial. I'm talking spiritual beauty. And with you highlighting and showing somebody the way and helping them recognize their strength and beauty, you work wonders for yourself. I love this reading. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. This has been your edition of Sexy Heads and Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aquarius. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, peace, Aquarius. And Aquarius, this was a hella powerful read. Share your gift with the world. Don't let nobody put baby in the corner. Yeah, it depends on who the car chooses, leaving emotional bruises, huh? Yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. There's no need to speak because.